Today we're going to learn how to solve systems of equations by elimination. Um, this is sometimes also called linear combination, depending on the textbook that you're using. But you're either eliminating a variable or you're combining it. So let's look at the, uh, our systems of equations. So at this point, we have systems of equations. We can use the old guess and check if we wanted to. Then we learned how to solve by graphing. And we looked for the point of intersection. And then we learned how to solve by substitution by substituting a variable in. And now this is our last one, elimination. So guess and check is the hardest one. It's the most cumbersome, least effective. Graphing works if they're whole numbers, but the problem comes in when there's fraction answers. Whoops. I can't write and talk at the same time. And substitution works great if you have something that says y equals da 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 or x equals da 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 or a equals. All right, elimination works for all. So let's look at an example. So here we have two equations we want to solve for. If I look, I can see that um, none of them say y equals or x equals, and I could solve for one of them, but this isn't a a uh, coefficient of 1, this isn't a coefficient of 1, and neither of these. So in that case, substitution would not work. So that, uh, that means I'm going to try elimination. So elimination means you are going to add the equations, hoping that something is eliminated. OK, so our goal is to cancel a variable. That's our goal by adding these. So the same thing happens where you have to add like terms. So if you look, I have these written right above each other. I'm going to set up an addition problem here. And I'm just going to add. So I'm going to add my x's first. 2x plus 5x is 7x. Then I'm going to add my y's, making sure you take the sign with the number. So negative 4y plus positive 4y cancels, so that's 0, so that's gone. And then 20 plus negative 6 is 14. And if you look, here's my new equation. And how lovely is that? You can easily say that x equals 2 by dividing both sides by 7. Now that I know that x equals 2, I can plug it into one of my original equations and I'm going to pick, it doesn't really matter which one, so I think I'll pick the first one to make it easy. So now I have 2 times x is 2 minus 4y equals 20. Solve, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4y equals 20. Solve for y. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Those cancel, I get negative 4y, don't forget your sign, equals 16. Divide both sides by negative 4, and I get y equals negative 4. Therefore, my answer is x equals 2, and y is negative 4. Now let's look at the next example. Now, looking at these, if I combine them, I'm going to add 3x plus 6, 3x gives me 6x. 5y minus 6y gives me negative y. And 7.6 minus 7.8 gives me negative 0.2. Now what happened is these didn't cancel. So I know that I can't do it that way. So just like with substitution, if it doesn't say y equals or x equals, you force it. So what we're going to do is, if you remember, we can add, subtract, multiply, or divide any equation by any number as long as we do it to the same every term the whole way through the equation. So I'm looking at my numbers here. And this takes a little bit of thought, so you have to think about this. So looking at my numbers, I see that I have a positive 3 and a positive 3. And I have a positive 5 and a negative 6. 
The easiest way to get rid of or to cancel these is to make one of, since three and three are the same coefficient, to make one of them negative. So I am going to do that. I'm going to force it to be negative. To do that, I have to follow the laws of algebra. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative one. Now all that does is change the sign. And I suggest that you rewrite these equations. I know that you're thinking it's a pain in the butt, but it will make it easier for you, I promise. So I'm just going to write negative 3x minus 5y equals negative 7.6. And then I'm just going to rewrite the bottom one exactly the way that it is. I'm not doing anything different. So all I did is I just rewrote those, changed the signs. You can do that as long as you do it to every term. Now I can combine them. Negative 3x and 3x cancel, which is what I wanted. Negative 5 and negative 6 gives me negative 11y. And negative 7.6 plus negative 7.8 gives me a negative 15 Point four. Now divide both sides by negative 11, and you get y equals positive 1.4. It's OK that it's a decimal, because there are decimals in my problem. So now, that's only part of my answer. Remember, don't forget, you have to go back and substitute it in. I'm going to substitute it into the first one, just because I go for the ones there's no negatives. Always remember to go back to your original equation. Do not try to go and put it into the equation that you changed. So you want one of the original equations. You don't want to put it into one of the ones that you changed. So you don't want this one. You don't want. So I'm going to plug it into the first one. And I have 3x plus 5 times 1.4 equals 7.6. Now, don't get hung up on always solving for y. Sometimes we solve for x. Sometimes it's a or b or x, y, z. So go ahead and just um, solve this. So 3x, 5 times 1 fourth is actually, or 1.4 is 7, equals 7.6, subtract 7, from both sides. You get 3x, those cancel equals 0 0.6. 0 0.6 divided by 3 is 0 0.2. So those are your answers. You have x equals 0 0.2 and y equals 0 0.1. Let's look at the next one. Now, if I look at my coefficients in this one, they're just awful. So I have 12 and negative 4, and I have 3 and positive 2. Unfortunately, none of them are the same coefficient. So I have to make it fit. So what you want to remember is you are looking for same coefficient and opposites. So I don't have any that are the same coefficient, but I do have opposites. So that's what I'm going to look at. I'm going to look at the x's, just the x's. I'm going to erase the y's. So what can I multiply by so that they're opposites? Well, if I look, I see that 12 is a multiple of negative 4. So if I multiply this whole thing by 3, that will make my x coefficient negative 12. So remember, you have to multiply everything by negative 3. So again, take the time to rewrite it. Don't try and squeeze it in, because then you'll have trouble going back and figuring out which one was your original to plug into. So that I just rewrote. This one I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So I get negative 12x plus 6y equals 36. 
and you're going to combine them or add them. So 12x minus 12x cancels. 3y plus 6y is 9y. And 18 plus 36 is 54. Now divide both sides by 9. And you get y equals 6. Now that I know that y equals 6, I can go back and plug it in for y. And I get 12x plus 3 times 6 equals 18. 12x plus 18 equals 18. Subtract 18 from both sides. You get 12x equals 0. Therefore, x must have to equal 0. Go ahead and copy this problem down. Pause the video, try it, and then come back and listen to the solution to see if you have the same answer. So again, looking at this one, I'm going to look at my coefficients. I have 5 and 7, negative 3 and negative 3. The easiest way to, get, to make these fit is to make one of these threes positive. So I'm just going to take the top one and make everything the opposite. So now this is negative 5x plus 3y equals negative 4. And this stays 7x minus 3y equals negative 16. Combined them, I get 2x. Those cancel equals negative 20. x equals negative 10. Plug that into an original equation. So I just always tend to go to the top. So 5 times negative 10 minus 3y equals 4. Notice I use the original. Negative 50 minus 3y equals 4. Add 50 to both sides. I get negative 3y equals 54. 54 divided by 3 equals 18. There's your answer. The next problem, same thing. Go ahead and po uh, copy it down, pause it, complete the problem, and come back. Again, looking at the equations, I see I have 5, 2, negative 6, 2. Because negative 6 and 2 are both positive, uh, po one's positive and one's negative, I'm going to change those. So I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 3. So this one stays the same. This one becomes 6x plus 6y equals, don't forget to multiply the answer. That's the biggest mistake students make, 54. Now combined, you get 11x. Those cancel equals 55. Divide both sides by 11. You get x equals 5. Take that, plug it into one of the equations. I'm going to plug it into this one. 5 times 5 minus 6y equals 1. This is 25 minus 6y equals 1. Subtract 25. I get 6, negative 6y equals negative 24. Therefore, y equals positive 4.